all you have to do is take this new medication and all your weight loss problems will be solved forever. New GLP-1 hormone medications like Wagovi, Ozempic, and Monjaro appear to be the miracle weight loss drugs we've all been waiting for. And bonus, it's not methamphetamine. And now there's an even better drug called Zepbound. But what makes Zepbound more effective than Wagovi and Ozempic? What results can you expect from these miracle drugs? Are these medications a good choice for you? As a nutrition and weight loss coach, I've been following GLP-1 medications very closely in the last couple of years. You likely hear about GLP-1 medications like Wagovi and Ozempic every week in the headlines. Perhaps you've even seen some celebrities endorsing these drugs as a quick and easy way to shed some extra pounds. Like Stacy, Stassi. Okay, so I've never heard of Stassi Schroeder, but she says she thinks it's safe and healthy. It's just like taking vitamins. Well, if you think it's safe and healthy, Stassi, what more proof do we need? And yes, Stassi, injecting hormones is exactly like taking a vitamin. We don't need no education. Okay, I do know who Tracy Morgan is, and he uses these medications because it helps him to eat half a bag of Doritos instead of the whole thing. We don't need no self-control. And I know who Amy Schuler is, who unfortunately had to stop using it because she felt so sick she couldn't play with her kids anymore. Well, I mean, if you want a reason to not have to spend time with your kids. And while I've done several videos on Wagovi and Ozempic before, this newest GLP-1 drug, Zepbound, is supposedly way better and produces even and more weight loss. Now, if you've looked for information on Zepbound, you might be a little bit confused. According to the latest headlines on the worldwide interwebs, Zepbound is a Manjaro-like drug. Mm check out this soap-like hand soap. This hand soap works just like regular soap, only it's for your hands. So the first thing to understand here is that Zepbound is not like Manjaro, it is Manjaro. Terzepatide is the generic name of the drug found in Manjaro and Zepbound. The pharmaceutical company who owns Terzepatide is Eli Lilly, and they have two different brand names for the same generic drug because they market them to two different customers. This is exactly what Novo Nordisk does with their GLP-1 drug, semaglutide, which is what's found in Ozempic and Wagovi. Manjaro and Ozempic are sold as type 2 diabetes medications, Zepbound and Wagovi are sold as weight loss medications. So you might be wondering, semaglutide, terzepatide, and all the other GLP-1 hormone drugs you'll see hit the market soon, how do they work? Okay, look, I don't want to hit you with a ton of scientific information here, but GLP-1 stands for glucagon-like peptide 1, which is a hormone and also the name of my next dog. Now, terzepatide also works on another hormone called GIP, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. The important thing to know here is that GLP-1 works by stimulating the release of insulin in your body, which is why it's so effective for type 2 diabetics whose bodies no longer respond to normal levels of insulin because they've become insulin resistant. GLP-1 also triggers satiety or a feeling of being full, which is why Tracy Morgan is able to exhibit godly self-control and only eat half a bag of his beloved Doritos. So it would seem that these drugs help you to lose weight without needing to really change any habits directly, other than the fact that you'll need to build in the habit of injecting injecting yourself in the stomach every week. That's, that's not bad. This might sound too good to be true. So just how well do these medications really work? When it comes to Wagovi and Ozempic, one of the most cited studies is this one from the New England Journal of Medicine, where they gave a group of obese individuals a weekly injection of semaglutide. Just for fun, let's choose to ignore that this study was funded by Novo Nordisk. Let's also ignore the fact that 
Even with the drug injections, the participants still underwent a lifestyle intervention where they changed their eating and exercise habits. Oh, and let's also ignore all of the side effects that these drugs can cause. After 68 weeks, the people who took semaglutide had lost an average of 15% of their body weight. So if you're 300 pounds right now, you could theoretically lose 45 pounds in the next 17 months or 476 days, which equates to 0.66 pounds lost per week, which if you're wondering really ain't too great. Given that the average person typically loses between one to two pounds per week when they intentionally change their lifestyle habits. But fear not because terzepatide works even better than semaglutide. Here's the study that has led the FDA to approve ZepBound as the newest weight loss drug. Again, let's ignore the fact that this study was funded and designed by Eli Lilly. And let's ignore the fact that the drug group also underwent a lifestyle intervention that included counseling, dietary guidelines, a calorie deficit, exercise in just 72 weeks, a measly year and a half, participants lost about 21% of their body weight. So if you're 300 pounds right now, you could lose 63 pounds in the next 18 months, which is 0.875 pounds per week. Wait a minute. Are you beginning to wonder what all the hype is about? It'd be one thing if you could lose three quarters of a pound per week without doing anything, but you still have to make the lifestyle changes that we've all been told lead to better health. And the results don't actually seem all that spectacular. And look, I get it. If you've been struggling to lose weight for a long time, the allure of a medication that makes it easier is incredibly appealing. And I'm not saying that you're wrong for wanting to try it. I just want you to have a complete understanding of the truth so you can make the best possible decision for yourself. Because even though Big Pharma will downplay this fact, the truth is taking these medications does come at a cost. If you're interested in learning more truth for your health, you should sign up for my free weekly newsletter, which is linked in the description below. But even with the costs that come with taking these medications, they may still be well suited for some people. But in order to discover who ZetBound is absolutely perfect for, we have to come back to how ZetBound differs from other GLP-1 drugs. The main way that Monjaro and ZetBound work differently from other GLP-1 drugs like Wagovi and Ozempic is that they all also affect another hormone called GIP, which stands for glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptide, which as a side note is a terrible name for your next dog. And honestly, GIP works very similarly to GLP-1 in that it stimulates the release of insulin. But here's the really crazy part that you should be aware of. The more insulin is elevated in your body, the worse your insulin resistance becomes. And the worse your insulin resistance becomes, the harder it is to lose weight and keep it off. This is why the number one side effect of insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and insulin medications is weight gain. So if all of these medications make insulin resistance worse, what happens when you stop taking them? It's not that big of a deal. You simply gain all of the weight back and a little bit extra. But fear not, because experts have a solution just for you. An interview with an obesity medication doctor from the university-like school of Harvard tells us that you can take ZepBound for the rest of your life. That's an easy answer. I might be jumping out the window here, but it's almost as if they want you to be taking their drug for the rest of your life. Fortunately, the idea of taking this medication for the rest of your life doesn't raise too many red flags. The side effects are the same as those reported for Wagovi and Ozempic, and it really will only cost you about as much as your monthly mortgage payment. Unless you have good insurance, and then you can get it down to your car payment. So who exactly is this drug good for? It's actually really good for you if you work for Eli Lilly. 
or own stock in their company. And I guess that's not entirely fair. It could also be really good for you if you kind of enjoy the cycle of losing weight and gaining it back. But even then, don't forget you'll have to deal with all the nasty side effects, which can range from minor things like hair loss and constant vomiting to more serious, potentially life-threatening illnesses. And if you're unfamiliar with the alarming side effects of these new miracle weight loss drugs, be sure to click the screen next to find out more about the darker side of GLP-1 medications.